Harlan Stag. Just hearing the name makes my stomach churn. I've dealt with all sorts of dabblers and inepts, but this kid is something else. A walking definition of arrogance. He only does the minimum of minimum to barely get the job done, while being smiles and glares all along. I can't stand this approach to work in anybody, much less in someone who actually believes they're doing great. To top that off, he thinks he's charming. <laughs> Ugly moron! His uncle, Danton, is a man of high stature, so the kid thinks he can get away with just about anything. How misguided can one get? Danton has no power here. I decide what's what. The ugly mess Harlan caused around the forge was the last drop. I'll give him two options. Either volunteer in the teleportation tests, or spend the rest of his service time here in the arcs as a fumium miner. A pretty despised and dangerous job, I hear. <laughs> How would that reflect in your uncle's eyes, poor Harlan? Nephew to a prominent Supreme Bureau member, high hope and the surefire future receiver of multiple national appraisals and awards, was in fact a huge disappointment. Instead of leading society to bright tomorrows, he could only manage to do the lowest and dirtiest of all jobs available. <laughs> Somehow, I already know what his choice is going to be. Okay, so for some reason, this is still off. I need a key. Ah, I still haven't gotten the golden key. Might be able to get through there, but I think that's locked. Uh, it's got to be in one of these areas. All right, let's just start investigating. I don't know who the lady is, but she's annoying. The kid's equally annoying, though. I'm not another one of the... Okay. Curious. We got a note from the kid earlier, and he just sounded like a, a bit of a shit. Okay. And so I can kind of almost sort of understand why she hates him. I mean, let's be honest here. We've all gone to school with people like this guy. That sucks. Can I move? Ah. We have a second one that I can move. Okay. The question is how? How do I move this one? In such a way that doesn't trap me. Because frustratingly enough, I can't slide these things sideways. Even if I wanted to. So that gives me, like, maybe half a second. And maybe that's it. I have to... Nope. No, because only heavy things can weight this down. Are there stones that you leave on the pressure plates? Yes, but not this pressure plate. Uh, big metal pressure plates like these can only be triggered uh, by heavy objects and me. I don't think I, I don't think I'm actually fast enough to to get that one.
Yeah, it it goes immediately. Found anything that puts that one down. Yeah, I can't push or pull this thing. I mean, I kind of can. But I can't move that. Here's the question. Yeah, so I can't undo that. I can't jump. Acid won't do anything. I'm stumped. Every time I come come into one of these rooms, I'm just like, you know what? I don't know how to solve this, and I think I have to. I, I think no matter what, I've got to solve that to make progress here, and it's not like there's a tool that's going to make that one easier. I'm going to look around for a little bit longer. There might be another directions that I direction that I can go that I haven't been. Nope. I think that's where I have to go. I'm allowed to give solutions. At this point, yeah, I'm open to them. Normally, I get kind of cranky when people start throwing ideas my my way while I'm trying to solve it, but clearly I've overlooked something, and my headspace is not the right one for puzzle solving. I'm getting hungry, and I'm getting tired. Oh, because Shell's slow cooking some Beyond Meat. Oh, lock and hole. You know what? Is this the right? Yeah, this is the right way. Yeah, the problem is trying to get the block into the hole. Would using one block to hold down the first pressure plate do anything? Sadly, as far as I know, no. Okay. What's the point of that? That gets me on the other side of this, which is different. So, that's why there's a timer on that one. It's so I can get around it. But why? Because, yeah, I can push this sucker here and there. Let's see, are you able to pull the block still make it across the gap? Nope, can't. So, it seems like the easy trick would be get a block down in here, problem solved. Get both of the blocks in, in and over this pit, super problem solved. Main problem is... I can't, I can't pull this over here because I fall into the pit. I can pull this here, back one, it'll move here, and then I can pull it this way, and then I ended up, then I end up stranded over here. I cannot pull it back and then go around. There's not enough time for that. That is something I have tried repeatedly. And because of how slow the animation for pulling a box is, I just die. Uh, it's quick save. Oh. And the other problem is, 
Well, I do have two blocks. This one can only be pulled here. I can't pull it sideways. And then by doing so, I've effectively trapped myself. Hold up. New thing I ha- No, this ain't gonna work. Yes? Okay. So that works. So this is busted down. Okay. Is that it? That was it? Oh. So the other block is an absolute red herring. All right. Weird ducks. I get it. I'm confused. I'm getting hangry. And puzzles puzzles are not not what the brain ordered today. Oh Jesus, not this puzzle again. Wait, maybe the Okay, it's not this puzzle again. This actually looks like a combat room. Now you'll be able to feel what it's like to be the lab rat. Observed and coldly evaluated while running for its life. Just like you observed me. Remember? Okay, so this works. Oh, that's an explosive barrel. Okay. See, did I have dinner yet? I had a peanut butter. Oh, shit. Where am I? Oh, I think we're fine. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do very quickly, let's get rid of the fire. Let's go with basic discharger. Actually, not even basic discharger. There we go. I'm not going to have time to play... There we go. Now you'll be able to feel what it's like to be the lab rat. Observed and coldly evaluated while running for its life. Just like you observed me. Remember? Leave some acid there. Just avoid them for a bit. These assholes. Yeah, it seems like the acid is kind of the way to go on these guys. It's not amazing. But it murks them good enough. What happened to the minion master idea? Uh, I was having trouble summoning enough of them. And so I figured I'd go with uh, gadgets and spells first, then start specking into minion mastery once I had enough energy to keep it up. Turns out uh, the build I'm actually going for is, I'm not going to say entirely incompatible with minion mastery, but...
I would have, I should have specced into other things instead. Isn't this, didn't she say Harlan? Wait, oh, wait, is the bad guy the kid? The, the little shit that we, uh, we just heard the audio log about. Because I thought it was her dad for whatever reason. But no, I bet not. Propeller mold and dream. I'm still not sure if the tr tangles sound, uh, tangle of sounds is of any interest. Yet I've had a strange dream last night. Almost too visit vivid to be tangible. It's like another reality, but my body took no part in it. Sounds of a roaring sea pervaded by cacophony. Cacophony? Cacophony. Of bleak noises. Sickening at first, then very soothing. Very soothing. I was in a free fall through thousands of whirlpools, drawing near to something. The sounds died off, or rather morphed into a ravishing chant, the most harmonious song you can imagine. Suddenly cut off by something dark and sinister, watching, starving. And then, in the middle of all that, was a figure of a woman covered by a veil made from fumium strands, at the top of the tower, just observing everything, wordless, noiseless. Then something pulled me back down and I woke up. The phonograph had already been long silent. Good. I'll need the other half as well. Yeah, there was that weird thing that we saw after going through the teleport scenes. Yeah, and that's what I was referencing to. I almost wonder if that was actually Harlan. Because she said Harlan. I thought for whatever reason Harlan was her dad. Laura's always been the biggest zealot I've ever known. Always ready to push on through any adversity to get the job done. Make sure. But since her husband, Director Reich, ordered all projects to a halt to be thoroughly documented for official evaluation. Okay. Gold key. She's ups. been just fierce. But it doesn't feel like it's that burning zeal of hers this time. It's something else. Something almost vicious. People are reluctant to go against the directive from the office, but nobody seems able to resist that strange commanding aura around her. So we just keep going. And we've already had two minor accidents. Oh, what a beauty. Pretty bare bones, but the plating looks solid. Maybe I can salvage that. Accidents that required medical treatment. Laura should slow down a bit and take safe protocols more seriously I'll just wait. yet despite all that I still trust her judgment and I believe the Supreme Bureau will appraise our efforts to move forward in the end our whole society is built upon the pledge of progress after all Okay. That didn't work. I'm gonna go back instead. Let them come here. Let them deal with the acid. There we go. Man, this little guy is aggressive. How long am I to a level? Not long. There we go. Let's see. More? Really? Four square time. Not much for four square. I think those fancy boots I picked up a while back have dropped off in terms of usefulness. Tragically. They were blocking so much damage when I first got them, and now they're... Yeah, I'm not going to say weak. But they definitely don't have the oomph that they used to. I don't see too much else. What else do we got here? Yeah, keep your eye out for secrety looking things. This is maybe an area that you'd run into them. 
Huh. Saved there. Almost worried that there would be a second. Ooh, hi. Fumium, fumium wiring. We dismantled the connection boxes in the workshops piece by piece and reconnected them to the secondary system to the power plant. Now if somebody manages to blow the fuses again, it shouldn't kill all the lights on any given floor. Victor and I went through most of the wiring, and for goodness sake, we couldn't find the culprit no matter what. Got an idea, though. Since we already mixed steel and fumium and use it to make automatons, how about using a similar material for wires? What could happen? I think the fumium that flows through all the piping would play nice with such wiring. Maybe all these issues would go. Then again, who cares about the ideas of some lowly peon and a maintenance team? I feel like Victor's the only person who ever listens to me. Out of the question. That was my initial stance on using human subjects in teleportation tests. Everybody felt like that. Or so I thought. Laura has gathered quite some following now, somehow convincing others that it's okay to gamble with human lives. Respected scientists and technicians, top experts in their line of work, all agreeing to this madness. How and when did it change so quickly? Am I the only one left to see how twisted this is? Or am I just unable? I need something to cut through it. Unable to see that it is, in all actuality, the way to go. The path to progress. When virtually everybody around you is telling you that you're wrong and you have nowhere else to turn to for advice, it's hard to see what's right and what's not. I'm inclined to permit the test, but it has to be voluntary. End of discussion. Okay, so we've got locked door, some other stuff. We have the golden key. That requires the silver key. I think we got the silver key. So let's go back for a second. I'll finish this floor and then I'll probably stop because the smell of food is too much of a siren call to me. And I'm gonna need some munches. Probably gonna get rid of the explosive barrels. That's I need a fumium ingot in here. I don't know where the mold is, but that's fine. So we want to go... Requires iron key. Okay, I actually have no idea. I have a, I have a key. I've got the iron key. Interesting, I got the golden key before. That sounds like mind controls at play. Oh, absolutely. I... It could be both, but... They already talked about how, like, addicting this stuff is. So it might not be strict mind control and more just like basic mind influence. That's got everybody here. Okay, brick collector. I think I have an issue. Nothing serious, just a little thing with bricks. Not sure what it is, but when I see one, I just have to get a hold of it and add it to my humble collection. A brick here, a brick there. You never know when you'll need them. Let's say I'm a sort of a brick collector. But let me tell you, there are plenty of, plenty of them scattered around. Just hope they don't come off the tower structure itself. Boy, oh boy, that wouldn't be very nice. Okay. I'm gonna drop this brick here. I don't know how useful it is. Okay, there's... Okay, leaving the Warhammer there is pointless. So there's definitely a puzzle here. Yeah, so I gotta sidestep it somehow. The problem is we've got the pit. So I think I just have to go faster. Nope. 
Got it. There we go. So far, so good. Why does this look like a spike roller? Okay, it's not a spike roller. It looked like one off the top of my head. Or, oh, there's lasers. Oh, shit. Okay, so, Laser Boy. is officially on the not cool list. <laughs> Got it. All right, took a smidge rage row is just mean we got it though and we're back here oh we're here oh we're here so the silver keys up there got it oh where does this lead and do we want to actually switch in the fire or the frost mines i'm digging the Frost mines for the time being. Let's go back to the fire on this. The lightning is nice, but I think the acid serves similar purposes. Okay. Actually, let me change that. We got two acid throwers just hanging. I don't think we want to truck with. Like, try and use acid against them. I wonder... Here, can I actually check? Notes. Uh, let's see. Are acid drones... Well, I guess let's just check with this. Yep. So, shock drones are resistant... to acid. They all are. Resistant to whatever element they're using. Okay. Well... I guess we've got to go to the end of this. But, yeah, that's not supposed to go. Flip that. Either that opened all of these doors, or is on a timer. Oh, please don't tell me it was on a timer. Okay, let's just keep our distance. There we go. Didn't even hit the frost mine. So far, so good. We'll get a little bit more. I think there's another enemy. Hey, and we level up. It might not be. That might have actually been all of them. Yeah, very good, very good level. Alright, restores damage, taking his energy. Pretty good. Yeah, let's keep going on this. It's only two more levels. We max this out. This is the one that gets me even more energy regen. So four more levels and we max these out. I think this game goes long enough. After that, we'll start ma mastering either mini mastery or something else. Okay. Did any of them have anything interesting in their cells? Doesn't look... Does not look like it. That's why there was only a handful of them. Yeah, did give me the fourth slot. Okay, so in that case, acid. Oh, there was a reason to come back, at the very least. We got this. Silver key, plenty of volunteers. Dim witted bonehead. Volunteers only, no more discussion. Ugh, I hate when Marcus is like that. 
hell-bent on making everybody happy, always settling for the middle ground. But progress is never made by going easy and being safe and sweet. No matter. He simply won't listen to any of it. So, our society prides itself on being led by reason. Reason, huh? Sure. Reasonable would be to use those convicted scumbags in lowlifes from the island for something beneficial to the rest. Instead, we feed them and care for them and make them comfortable in their warm cells. Cells they're going to rot in anyway. Well, if volunteers only, it is to be. I'm pretty sure I can find one or two lackeys around here ready to please. And if that's not enough, we have plenty of volunteers down there in the morgue. They won't argue that much either, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, I don't think any of these are breakable. What possessed you, Laura? Was the hunger for knowledge more powerful than the love for human life? At least now I know where the bodies from the morgue have gone. Okay, so we're back here. We've got this. Stairs up. Oh, completely new area. All right, so let's take a look. Map, tower map. Where have we been? So, actually, we've cleared a fair bit of this. Uh, we are currently in... Probably workshop smeltery? If we just took the stairs up, yeah. So, I think we, I think that's what it said. So, we've been here. So, we've still got three, four, lo four locations that we haven't been to yet. Heart hydroponics is only part done. Plus, it looks like there's one or two seekers around here. Ah, this, is gonna, this is gonna take a while. I'm sorry, what? Who? Like a decoy man there. Yep. Definitely that. Alright. Let's save. I'm hungry. Whoops. Guess I've had caps lock, caps lock on this entire time. Alright, whatever. <laughs> I'll own it. I'm gonna go get food. <laughs> 